Good afternoon. This morning came news that a Chinese company will be selling electric vehicles in the United States and at steep discounts to Tesla and other automakers. The company is Geely, and how Geely managed to get around U.S. tariffs and sanctions may be a roadmap for other Chinese car makers. The car is the EX30, and it's being offered from Geely's Volvo subsidiary. The EX30 is priced at $35,000, which would be really competitive in the United States market. The Geely EX30 is priced $8,000 below the Tesla Model Y, and Tesla, by the way, just announced across the board price cuts. Geely here enjoys all the advantages of being a Chinese automaker. But what is important this time is what Volvo can do for Geely, because Volvo has U.S. manufacturing centers for other cars. And there are loopholes that allow Geely and Volvo to sell their Chinese-built cars in the U.S. market. Geely is a Chinese brand, and China has monopolies on electric battery production. Geely has also merged its supply chains and manufacturing with Volvo, which gives the combined company Volvo's engineering and management expertise, and in this case, Volvo's access to the American market. And even with the low price compared to rivals, Geely and Volvo are going to see nice profit margins of 20% or so. The question that will be raised in Washington and lots of other places is how Geely was able to get around the tariffs that are on all Chinese built products. Cars from China are assessed a 27.5% tariff. But here is where Volvo solves that problem. Volvo has a U.S. factory that can export electric vehicles. And that allows Volvo to import those same products from China and be exempt from the tariff. It is a loophole in the law. Volvo manufactures electric cars in the U.S. for export, which means that they can import electric cars, even from China, with no tariff. And the news gets even better for Geely and Volvo. There is another loophole under the Inflation Reduction Act that will allow buyers of the EX30 to qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit if they lease the car instead of buying it. The law was drafted to deny the tax benefit for sold cars, but the IRS ruled that leased vehicles qualify no matter what the country of origin is. The cars are already selling. Volvo cars in Carlsbad is quoted here and they're already taking deposits. The sales manager says that his current buyers typically lease them to qualify for the U.S. tax credit and then they buy out the lease. So this is how buyers are getting around the tax credit problem. Lease the car, take the $7,500, and then buy out the lease from the dealer. Geely was a no-name Chinese brand back in 2010 when they bought Volvo from Ford, and industry insiders were puzzled how Geely and Volvo could possibly work together. Volvo is synonymous with high quality and safety, and Geely just produced cheap copycat designs. Now it's more obvious, and Volvo is benefiting from Geely as much as the other way around. Volvo has doubled its global sales since the partnership was announced. And now Geely is using Volvo as a springboard into the U.S. market. The attorneys found an old law, over 200 years old, that refunds companies for import fees paid on imported raw materials for production used to export. Applications of this law means that Volvo can export EX90 SUVs produced in South Carolina and offset costs of imports of the EX30 from China. Right now, no doubt, there are about 15 Chinese automakers who are trying to figure out what Geely just did. And there are about 15 U.S. and European and Japanese car makers 
who are trying to figure out how to stop everyone else from doing it. Have a good night. Be good. Search for righteousness, for we shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for we shall receive mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons.